Today I'm gonna to do my top 10 dermatology products of all time. I'm kind of a diehard fan of the brand. I love them, it is my favorite overall brand, but I do have things that stand out big time. I'm going to timestamp this video so that you can skip around if you would like to. I'll put the products in the description box as well as in a pinned comment so you can just skip around if you wanna just get right to a specific product and a specific review. But what I'm also doing to correspond with this video is a blog with all of the dermatology products that I own. So not only these 10, but probably the other 25, 20 that I have uh, in addition to these. Now on that blog will be the ingredient decks with the ingredient callouts. I'll also give you kind of a quick speed review, my take on the product. I'll put the pricing, the whole nine. We're gonna start, no order, the under eye patches. Now these are relatively new. I mean, they're newer to me than some of these other things that I've been using for years and years. I've been using these since they launched and I absolutely love them. Oh here, one stuck to the lid so you can kind of see it. They look like this. The reason why I really, really like these and I highly recommend them is that the ingredient deck is full of ingredients that are going to help to brighten and hydrate the skin under your eyes. The other thing is you get 60 of them in here, which means that you can use them on a daily basis in order to get the benefits. Under eye patches are great for hydration. They're great for helping to kind of plump up temporarily the skin under your eyes and around your eyes and that kind of thing. But as far as brightening is concerned or actually making some pigmentary changes or textural changes, you really need to be using something super duper consistently in order to see those changes. You can get transient hydration from under eye patches, any under eye patches, but in order to see changes in the dark circles or changes in the texture or changes in the fine lines on a structural, in a structural way, you need to use them often. So because you get 60 of these, you can use them every single day. Next is gonna be the vitamin C, E, F. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know that I have a hard time with vitamin C in the form of L-ascorbic acid, and I know I'm not alone. I know that there are so many of you out there that you really have a hard time tolerating L-ascorbic acid. It can be very irritating, and it can cause us to kind of get pinky red, which I don't need any help in that department. This is the first vitamin C that is L-ascorbic acid that I have not had that trouble with. And I think it's because this has vitamin C, 15% L-ascorbic acid, but then it also has the E, which is the vitamin E, which is another antioxidant. Then it has the F, which is the ferulic acid. Those are things that are going to help to stabilize each other. So they help to kind of prop each other up so that the product stays good longer and effective longer but it's the additional ingredients in here that make this one special. This one has castor oil in it. Now, of course, it is hydrolyzed castor oil or it is hydrogenated castor oil. I'll have the ingredients up on the screen, of course. Regardless, because it has that in there, that means that there is a ricinoleic acid component. That is so fantastic for our skin. We talked about that when I did my castor oil video. This also has ceramides in there. It has so many ingredients that are going to help to buffer the irritating antioxidants that are in here so that people like me can use a vitamin C to get the brightening, to get the antioxidant protection, pigment inhibiting, all of the things that we want vitamin C to do, we can get it in a way that isn't irritating. So this is definitely my favorite vitamin C that I've discovered in the last 10 years. It is so good. This takes that quintessential vitamin C E F and bumps it up several notches by having those additional beautiful ingredients that are gonna help with our barrier, help with our hydration, help buffer those you know irritating ingredients. So another favorite, big, big favorite in that one. Universal Tinted Moisturizer. I'm not gonna talk about this forever because I've talked about this for so many years and so long and so many videos that I know it's a broken record. This is such a beautiful moisturizing SPF. It is SPF 46. It is hydrating. It is great if you are normal to dry. There are other versions of sunscreen on the dermatology website. There is a physical, you know, all physical, all zinc titanium dioxide. And then there is also another one that is non-tinted that is a hybrid like this one. So this one is zinc oxide plus it is also 
a chemical filter, if you will. And it is so beautiful. It's slightly tinted. And the reason for the tint, in my opinion, is so that there is no white cast. So it looks like this. And you can see there's not much, you know, it's not like you're putting on a foundation or anything like that. We're going to ignore the sunspots on my hands because I actually did IPL on my hands and so they look worse right now, but we're going to ignore that. Anyway, that is the Universal Tinted Moisturizer and I don't know if you can see, but it gives off this really beautiful kind of a sheen and it is gorgeous on dry skin. I find that it plays super well under makeup. It makes my makeup look even better, but on days when I don't wanna wear any makeup at all, I find that it ever so slightly evens out my complexion and I can get away with just having it on and it makes my skin look like a better version of itself while it is protecting my skin with that SPF of 46. There's an ingredient that is in all of the SPF products that Dermatology has that you should be aware of. It is, it is not weed, okay? Not weed is also known as Polygonum Avicular Extract, and I might be butchering that, so forgive me, but not weed is such a fantastic ingredient to see in your SPF. Pull out your other sunscreens and see if that happens to be in them. Dermatology is very forward thinking by putting that into all of their SPF products, it happens to help protect against different wavelengths of UV. So while it is not technically a UV filter, it is going to help with infrared. So seeing knotweed in your SPFs is a really, really good thing. The other thing that you want to look for when you're looking at SPF is to look for iron oxides. Iron oxides are also another thing that can help to protect your skin against like visible light, which can also contribute, of course, to hyperpigmentation and just skin damage in general. We know that the sun is something that causes the majority of our extrinsic aging. So the aging that comes from stuff that's getting us from the outside, it's the sun. That's the thing that's doing the majority of it. We love the sun, but we have to be mindful of what the sun can do to us. So we wanna protect ourselves so that we balance out our love for the sun with what it can do to damage our skin. So seeing knotweed and seeing iron oxides in products that are SPFs are just really fantastic kind of augmenting, supporting cast characters in an ingredient deck. Now, iron oxides are typically in tinted products. So that's one of the reasons why I really do like the tinted sunscreen from um, Dermatology. It also has the knotweed, it has the um, iron oxides, and then of course it has the protection with our zinc and our chemical filter. Since we're talking about sunscreen, let's talk about another favorite. These are the Luminous Eye Correctors SPF 41. I love these. I carry these with me everywhere. These are either in a pocket of my puffy coat or they're in my purse. I have them all the time. Laptop bag, I mean, whatever I'm carrying that day, this goes with me along with like a lip gloss and a lip balm kind of thing. It is just one of those things that I can touch up during the day. It is SPF of 41. It is zinc and titanium dioxide, so it's all mineral. But this also has that knotweed in it and it has those iron oxides. So it's helping to protect the skin underneath the eyes. And because I can reapply it throughout the day, it is helping to color correct, it's helping to conceal, and it's helping to protect. Now, there are other ingredients in here like ceramides. There is phytosphingosine, which is fantastic for our barrier function. It has cholesterol, it has peptides. This is loaded with so many skincare ingredients that frankly, the tint that is in here is just a special extra. This could be your eye cream, your daytime eye cream if you wanted it to. It has that many wonderful ingredients in it. It just so happens to also have a tint that complements and helps to correct under eye darkness. I did a dupes video not too long ago and I compared this one, I called it a dupe, for the Color Science 3-in-1 Total Eye. I have used that one for years and years. This beats it out. It is half the price, better ingredients, higher SPF. It's just a better option. So if you are somebody who loves that Color Science that is $79, highly, highly recommend that you try this one out. I, I'm serious, it's better. Okay, so my next favorite is gonna be the HPR eye cream. I did a whole video on this as well. I'll try and link as much of this information as possible, but this is a nighttime eye cream for me personally. I don't use this one during the day. 
I love it. HPR is a retinoid and it's super duper gentle and it works really well in the eye area. Now it's active and gentle, which makes it so fantastic because lots of gentle retinoids are inactive and that's okay. All that means is that our skin has to do some enzymatic conversions in order for them to become active. And why activity matters is that a retinoid has to be in its active state in order for our skin to utilize it to go to work to do all the things that we want it to. If it's inactive and it doesn't get converted or it, the skin can't use it. I find this one to be really lightweight. It's almost like a gel, gel cream like this. It's super nice and lightweight. As soon as you work it into the skin, it doesn't feel super heavy and occlusive, but it is moisturizing. It doesn't leave the eye area irritated. And because it has that particular retinoid, it is a pigment inhibitor and it's also a collagen stimulator. So you're going to get that uh, brightening under the eyes. You're also going to help with fine lines and texture under the eyes. You do not need a ton. You don't even need a full pump, honestly, to do both of your eyes. Usually what I will do with the leftovers, I put it around my lips as well. I have a Dermalect product called Smooth Upper Lip that I absolutely love around the lips, but a lot of times I skip it because I have a little bit of extra of this and it's perfect for like these upper little tiny fine lines and stuff. So this eye cream has definitely become over, since they launched it. It has become my nighttime go-to eye cream and I just find it to be gorgeous. Let's talk about some moisturizers. The Soothe and Recovery. You guys, I am addicted to this. This stuff is so good. The other thing about it is it's huge. It's three ounces and it comes in this tube, which I know is kind of unassuming and just looks like you know, whatever, but it's actually so convenient for traveling. I use this all the time, pretty much every single night. No matter what my routine is, I finish with Soothe and Recovery. I slather it on as my last step. It isn't incredibly heavy, but it is heavier than the peptide night cream, and it's just very, very soothing. And I find that it just helps to encourage the barrier function to be healthy so that my skin can do everything that it wants to do underneath. I wake up and I feel like my skin is not tight or dry. It's not greasy. It's just balanced feeling and I love it. I mean, there is not a routine that I would do where I would leave this out. It's just one of my all time favorites. For me, this is too heavy for me to wear during the day. So like I can do my peptide night and I could do that day and night. This one is definitely a nighttime type of product for me personally. If you are looking for a moisturizer that's a little bit more rich for the daytime, you might like this one for a daytime moisturizer. It's beautiful. And Soothing Recovery makes it sound like it's gonna be an ointment or something like that. It's just a mid-rich moisturizer. So it's not all the way to like occlusive heaviness. It's a mid-weight moisturizer. This is a light to mid-weight moisturizer in the peptide night cream. So that's kind of the difference between those two. This has ceramides. It has so many soothing ingredients that are going to help to just allow your skin to do what it should do on its own. No active ingredients in here. So there's no acids, there's no retinoids, anything like that. So this is one of those that you can just use all the time because it's gonna help just to soothe your skin and help your skin to recover on its own. So that is the Soothe and Recovery, one of my all time biggest favorites in dermatology. Okay, let's talk about the Needleless Serum. This has to be in my top 10 because it's such a beautiful serum from the brand. This one is probably their most well-known product other than their Universal Tinted Moisturizer. It is, a, as the name would say, it is a serum. I would say it's like mid-weight, mid to light weight. Soaks right into the skin, packed with ceramides, peptides. It has humectants in there. 
It is an all-in-one serum that you could use as your only serum. This is great if you like to cosmetic needle. This is perfect for that. This is great for using as your light, light, lightweight moisturizer during the summertime. I think it's gorgeous for that too. If you have combination skin, you could get away with this as your moisturizer. It's just hydrating enough. If you have dry skin, this is the hydration booster to your moisturizer that that will help to keep your skin very hydrated, very moisturized, and then you top with a moisturizer and you've just fed your skin so much goodness. I think that this is a gorgeous serum. It has a cult following for a reason. It's really beautiful. Worth checking out on the website is that it does come in two ounces as well. And when they have sales like this, you can get that two ounce at 30% off and it's just a good opportunity to get a little bit more for your money. The other thing that you really wanna look into on the website is the bundles. During the sale, they have their bundles and a lot of times they allow the discount to be applied to the bundles and the bundles already save you a few dollars. So if you know that you like certain things that get bundled together on the site, look at the bundles because it's another way to, to save even more than 30%. Okay, my last favorite is the water cream moisturizer. This is one that I tend to pull out when summer rolls around. It's like a gel cream. You can see by the consistency that it's less opaque. It's more gel based. It's going to do a lot of hydrating the skin and really kind of plumping up the tissue. This also has a saccharide in it that binds to the skin and helps to keep the skin moisturized longer. So even though it is this gel cream, it actually hydrates the heck out of the skin and keeps it hydrated for longer. So truly, if you are somebody with dry skin, this is worth investigating because I find this to be so incredibly hydrating that when I use this, I don't layer it with like the needle is because it's almost too much hydration. So this one is kind of like a dark horse for those of us with dry skin. On the flip side, if you have combination skin or if you have oily skin, I feel like this is just beautiful because it's not oily, it's water-based. So it just hydrates the skin. It doesn't leave the skin like greasy or heavy or anything like that. Also, the fact that it is 3.77 ounces and it's in the $30 range before any discounts is absolutely incredible. This is such an affordable moisturizer, similar to the Soothe & Recovery that is three ounces. These are so affordable already and you apply a big fat discount and these become truly budget-friendly options in a brand that actually puts a lot of thought into the ingredient decks. No fragrance in these or anything like that. And you can get them for an affordable price, especially when we have these big discount times. The other thing is that Dermatology is shipping internationally now. So if you are watching this from outside of the United States, you can get your Dermatology shipped to you now and you can take advantage of this sale. So if you find that it's sometimes a little bit more expensive to buy dermatology and have it shipped other times of the year. The sale times are the times for you to take advantage so that you can kind of get it at a, a parity to what we are able to get it in the United States. Okay, guys, again, over on the blog is going to be all of these with all of the ingredient decks, but then it's going to be all of the other probably 20 different products that I have used tested, reviewed, etc. ingredient decks, the whole nine. So before you shop the sale, I encourage you to check out that blog so that you can get all of the information, see in black and white and blue and red, the ingredient decks and make informed decisions. I hope you are having a really wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.